My name's Georgina Hughes. I'm a pharmacist and a researcher, and I'm currently undertaking my PhD here at the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute, or SAMRI, with the Registry of Senior Australians, also known as ROSA, and the University of South Australia. I'm quite early on in my career. I've been a pharmacist for a few years now. I started studying my Bachelor of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences at the University of South Australia. And during my undergraduate studies, I landed a summer research scholarship opportunity, which um, let me start to work on a research project that was looking at how we could simplify the use of medicines in older people in aged care homes and the role of pharmacists in that setting. And this really sparked my interest in pharmacy as a potential career pathway. And the benefit of being able to bring my pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences background to research specifically, and being able to use this to drive the safer and more effective use of medicines in older people. And since 2021, I've been working part-time as a pharmacist um, in a pharmacy in Adelaide, and also undertaking my PhD. Specifically, my research is focused on looking at the use of antidepressant medicines among older people who are accessing aged care homes in Australia and specifically using big data around this. This is really important because although antidepressant medicines can be beneficial in some people, they can also cause side effects like all medicines, but we know that these can be more pronounced in older people. So antidepressant medicines are, are ones that work on our brain and our nervous system and they're often used for conditions like depression, anxiety and pain. And Australia in particular is one of the largest consumers of antidepressant medicines globally, including in our aged care homes. Our research has found that antidepressant medicines use is increasing in aged care homes. In 2019, almost six in every 10 residents were using an antidepressant medicine. This is a really high level of use of these medicines. And it's highlighted the importance to look more closely at the reasons antidepressants are being used in aged care homes, whether that be for clinically diagnosed depression or for other reasons. Moving into an aged care home can have a really significant impact on a person's life. It might be a positive experience for some people, or for others it might be associated with experiences of sadness or loneliness or loss. So the findings of this work have really shone a spotlight on the need for us to do more to better support the mental health and well-being of older people who are accessing aged care in Australia and ensuring that we're using antidepressants in the safest and most effective way. ROSA, standing for the Registry of Senior Australians, is a big data registry which allows us to link de-identified information about a person's journey through the aged and healthcare systems and including how they use medicines and the impact of this. Using this big data has been really important in being able to generate the evidence base which is calling for us to pay more attention to the use of antidepressant medicines in aged care homes. Looking at medicines on a national scale means that we can look at how much antidepressants are being used, how frequently, how the use has changed over time, where antidepressants are being started or how long they're being used for and the use towards end of life. It also lets us look at things like safety outcomes. So are the, anti are the antidepressants increasing the risk of hospitalizations or adverse outcomes? And being able to generate this information using big data helps us to drive the changes in clinical care that are delivered by practitioners providing healthcare on the ground. It also helps to inform new policies and quality improvement initiatives which ultimately improve the experiences and the health outcomes of older people in Australia. So I'm really passionate about using big data to help us to improve the quality and safety of care that's delivered in Australia's health and aged care systems. At some point in somebody's life, they're always going to take a medicine or access the healthcare system at some point. And often these do the things that we really need them to do. But it's important that medicines are used in a safe way so that we can prevent unnecessary side effects. And so filling these gaps so that older people have the best opportunity to use medicines and access the healthcare system in the most safe and effective manner is what really drives me in my work. Outside of work, I'm often found hanging out at the beach. I love swimming and reading my book. Um, and enjoying the food and wine regions around Adelaide here in South Australia. And I really like doing that with my friends and my family. Mm -hmm.